Did you know that our solar system is flat? And if so, did you ever wonder why? Many brilliant minds have pondered this very question, leading to fascinating explorations of gravitational forces and celestial mechanics. It's a journey that takes us back billions of years, to the very birth of our solar system. From our vantage point on Earth the solar system appears to be a vast flat plane. This isn't mere coincidence. Our planets, asteroids and comets are all neatly aligned along this plane, forming what we call the ecliptic. It's as if the cosmos itself drew a line in the celestial sand, a blueprint for their travels around the sun. It's a captivating sight, one that has puzzled astronomers and space enthusiasts for centuries. But how did this alignment come to be? Let's dial back the cosmic clock. Our story begins about 4.6 billion years ago with a vast cloud of gas and dust. This cosmic cloud, also known as a nebula, was the birthplace of our solar system. It was a chaotic and turbulent place, filled with swirling particles. Amid this chaos, the forces of gravity began to work their magic. Gravity, the cosmic glue, started pulling particles of gas and dust together. As these particles clustered, they created pockets of intense gravitational pull, drawing in more and more material. This set off a chain reaction, causing the nebula to collapse under its own gravity. As the cloud collapsed, it started to spin. This spinning cloud of gas and dust was the early stage of our solar system, a cosmic ballet set in motion by the relentless tug of gravity. This collapse was the first step towards the formation of our flat solar system. As the cloud collapsed and spun faster, a principle known as the conservation of angular momentum came into play. Angular momentum is a property of rotating objects. It is calculated by multiplying the moment of inertia, a measure of how difficult it is to change an object's rotation, by the angular velocity, the rate at which the object is rotating. The greater the moment of inertia or angular velocity, the greater the angular momentum. A simpler way to describe it would be how fast something is spinning and how hard it is to stop it from spinning. Imagine you are spinning around in a circle with your arms out. The faster you spin and the heavier you are, the harder it is to stop you from spinning. That's kind of like angular momentum. Now let's think of our early solar system as that spinning skater. As the vast cloud of gas and dust collapsed under gravity, it began to spin faster, conserving its angular momentum. This rapid rotation forced the material to spread out, much like pizza dough spins into a flat circle. As the spinning got faster, the force, or the dough, was pushed outwards, creating a flat rotating disk. This spinning cloud began to flatten into a disk, the birthplace of our sun and planets. So, the conservation of angular momentum is a key player in the story of why our solar system is flat. To understand the formation of the solar system we need to understand how objects move in a circle. Let's take a moment to think about a familiar phenomenon. Imagine you're spinning a top on a table. What keeps the top moving in a circle? The answer is centripetal force, which is always directed towards the center of the circle. This force is what keeps the top from flying off the edge of the table. Now, if you were to stop the top from spinning it would fall over. But why? This is due to the centrifugal force which is an apparent force that acts outwardly away from the center of rotation. It's what you feel when you're spinning around quickly or taking a sharp turn in a car. So how does this relate to our solar system? In essence, the same physical principles that keep a top spinning on a table helped shape the vast flat expanse of our solar system. It's a remarkable example of how even in the immensity of space, the laws of physics as we know them here on Earth, still apply. These forces played a crucial role in shaping our flat solar system. Within this flat spinning disk, not all of the particles in the disk felt the forces equally. Those closer to the axis of rotation felt less of this outward push, while those further away felt it more strongly. Countless particles collided and began to clump together. Imagine a cosmic dance where each particle drawn by the pull of its neighbors spirals in a chaotic ballet. These were no gentle pirouettes though. These were high-speed, violent crashes that generated heat and often larger clumps of matter. This process known as accretion was a key player in the early solar system. It's how tiny dust grains grew into pebbles, pebbles into boulders, and eventually, boulders into planets. Each collision, each clump, added to the growing mass of these celestial bodies. And as these bodies grew so did their gravitational influence. This in turn stabilized the flat disk, keeping the majority of the material within this plane. It's a fascinating chain of events where one action triggers another, leading to the formation of the solar system as we know it. These collisions were the final piece in the puzzle of our flat solar system. So there you have it. We've journeyed through time and space to understand why our solar system is flat. 
It's an incredible tale of cosmic forces at work, shaping the universe in ways that continue to astound and inspire us. We've barely scratched the surface of the mysteries that this universe holds. There are countless more questions to explore. Why not delve deeper into the wonders of astrophysics? You could learn about the life cycle of stars, the strange world of quantum mechanics, or the mind-bending theories of relativity. Each topic opens up a new universe of knowledge, ready to be discovered. We encourage you to share your thoughts, questions, and insights in the comments below. Your curiosity fuels these explorations, and your perspectives help shape the journey. Have a burning question about the cosmos? Want to suggest a topic for our next video? We're all ears. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic journey. Don't forget to subscribe for more intriguing explorations of our universe.